I think if we didn't try it, we'd always wonder, what if? So, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Rebecca. I'm here with my family of five. We're from England um, and we're here for my youngest daughter Ember who is five years old and diagnosed with autism when she was two. When Ember was 18 months she went through a regression and she lost with her communication skills and she went into a bit of a shell. No one could really get through to her and she was in this bubble that you couldn't get to her and she was just a bit on her own really and she was diagnosed when she was two so that was quite early on and since then we've just been looking for ways to help her get into her bubble as it were um, and try different things to help her body recover and get back to where she was before. So we tried lots of different therapies and um, First of all, we changed her diet, which helped a huge amount actually. We removed gluten and dairy from her diet and we saw some improvements. It was nice to see her smile again. She was much happier in herself, um, but still there was a lack of communicating, of understanding. Um, she wouldn't really play with her siblings, researching all different things and we came across the stem cells via a Facebook group and, and read loads about it and then decided after a while that we really needed to try it from hearing so many other parents' great stories or feedback and it was quite honest and open feedback. It wasn't just reviews on a website that you never know whether to believe or not. It was real people's real life stories. And so after her first treatment, which was when she was three, three and a half, she suddenly came out, she was in the back of the car, she dropped a pencil, she came out with a whole sentence and she said, oh, I can't get it, which was amazing because she'd had no words and then suddenly this whole sentence that came out when she was a bit angry and since then, just not full sentences like that, but odd words here and there, um, she could now tell us what she wanted, which she could never do before. Whereas after the stem cells, probably more like three or four months after, um, she started saying like snack and pointing at the snack or crisps, pointing at the crisps, which is huge. We could then knew what she wanted. She wanted to go outside, she'd say bounce because she wanted to go on the trampoline. And playing with her siblings as well, not so much other children, but definitely with her brother, older brother and sister, she was now playing games with them. She'd run around with them and play hide and seek and things, and she wasn't interested in them at all before. Having the stem cells, she's a completely different child now. Um, and people notice it, whether it's at her... When we first started, she was at nursery school, so the teachers there noticed it. Now she's just started um, her primary school and she's in mainstream school and she's doing well there, fitting in. My family live, they're, they're in England, but they're a different part. They're about three hours away. So we don't see them as often as some others. And because there's a bit of a gap between each time we see them, I think they notice the changes more than maybe we do. So it's quite nice to hear from them when they say, oh, she wasn't doing that before. And I say, really? And they say, oh yeah, she, she, she wasn't doing that. The clinic here in Panama like, kind of puts you at ease when you first come here. Um, the staff are lovely. It's very well set up. Everyone's really professional. You don't, you don't have to think about anything. Um, the doctors are very calm. Everyone's very family friendly. They understand small kids and small wiggly kids that need a bit of extra help staying still and, and not freaking out. Yeah, they just put you at ease and um, everything goes quite smoothly. The whole experience is actually really lovely. It's changed our lives because we're more family now. Before she was just kind of on her own a bit and forgotten about. Um, because she wouldn't join in, whereas afterwards we could do trips to places, um, holidays, she's more, she's quite calm on aeroplanes, 
she loves going on holiday now which is amazing because <laughs> I couldn't think of not having holidays uh, and going to the beach she just yeah she's she's really happy all of the time.